With so many players flying a stolen Idris around the verse right now, this video will showcase the consequences of overextending with capital ships, spotlighting the infamous Javelin wreck on Daymar. I'm Farrister, and whatever your take on the whole Star Citizen in Alpha testing debate, I hope you'd agree this game can be incredibly beautiful. And in this location spotlight video series, we'll celebrate that, whilst hopefully providing you with some interesting locations that you might like to go out and explore. Aside from the obvious beauty shots throughout, this video will also cover how to find the Javelin Wreck, background lore, as well as what you'll find when you get there. And since this video showcases some of the newer graphics tech in Star Citizen, please share your thoughts on how it looks, or if you're enjoying these videos, in the comments. Part 1. Locating the Javelin Wreck You'll find the crashed Javelin in the Stanton system, set against the sand and hills on the moon of Daymar. Daymar orbits the gas giant of Crusader. Nearby, you'll find sand dunes and some more rocky terrain. There are a few guides out there for locating the wreck, but generally speaking, you'll fly to Orbital Marker 3 overhead Daymar, and then orient to the moon. There's a little C shape, which is an easy landmark to look out for. Then, you'll want to fly in, as shown in the footage. There are other ways to find it though, often players will fly a set distance from quantum travel points, such as Arcourt Mining Area 141. The precise distances do seem to change a little from patch to patch, so be sure to look up a more recent guide if that's how you'll do it. Finally, the atmosphere on Daymar is not hospitable, so you'll want to wear a spacesuit. Temperatures can vary from mild at night to quite warm at times, so lean towards wearing heat gear. Part 2. Background Lore so, clearly something went very wrong for this javelin, given that it's in a number of pieces. In addition, those pieces are relatively close together, so it would be fair to assume that whatever went wrong happened very close to the surface. Outside of that, as often happens, background information is sparse, so please share in the comments if you have any more information about where this javelin came from, whether it's a UEE destroyer, and how it came to be crashed on Daymar. And naturally, if you're enjoying the video, press that like button and subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future videos. Part 3. What you'll find there. So, compared to other locations spotlighted, the answer is not much. There's usually some mining to be found nearby, but the main feature is the wreck itself. There's the main body of the Javelin class destroyer, which is largely intact, and gives a flavour for the size of this gargantuan vessel. The front section is broken off, but nearby. And a couple of the main engine modules have broken away from the body of the vessel, and even those engines are large enough to hold small fighters inside. The bridge is also accessible, although some of it seems to be buried by sand, but again, the scale of the ship becomes apparent from the bridge. If you've not been, or not been recently, it's well worth a trip to see, especially around sunset. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more Star Citizen location spotlights in the future. You might also be interested to look at when the Javelin was available to see in-game during Fleet Week. And if you're looking for friends to enjoy the game with, I've included details in the video description for my active Star Citizen organisation. Thank you for watching.